Hello, I am speaking to you from Dubai at the COP28 meetings. Uh, it's definitely an honor for me to be here and to be part of my country delegation. I'm from the Kingdom of Tonga. I'm the youngest Speaker of Parliament presiding in the world right now. My name is Lord Fafanua, and I'm here because Tonga is one of the most vulnerable countries to natural disasters and external shocks on the planet. We are numbers two. In terms of the effect on our GDP, every time there's a catastrophic natural event, our GDP is affected by at least 25, 35, up to 40% every time. And for our country, uh, loss and damage will help us uh, adapt towards the changing climate. We advocate for the 1.5 degree um, rise because we are currently feeling the effects of climate change. We are seeing um, our, some of our villages migrate into high ground. We are seeing higher um, sea levels. Uh, we are also affecting, um, affected by droughts, uh, which has a drastic impact on food security and also water security. Uh, we want to um, decarbonize our energy system. We are heavily uh, reliant on fossil fuels and diesel for power generation. Our country has the greatest ambition to decarbonize, but we lack the financial resources to achieve that. So we look forward towards um, the assistance and the pledges from those countries who are, can afford to give money to donate towards the developing countries so that we can decarbonize and also adapt towards the changing climate. And I encourage those who have um, a lack of political will uh, to um, pledge their, uh, their commitments towards um, the COP negotiations in terms of loss and damage and also assistance for the developing countries. Uh, we need to have this happen as soon as possible. Uh, now is the time. Uh, we won't have it tomorrow if we don't act now. It's a very urgent.